Hey boo, so um, it's 8.30 right now. I woke up pretty early today. I woke up at like six and you know how you're, you wake up and um, y'all know I'm not a morning person like at all. Um, and so I woke up around six and I just laid in the bed because I was like, there's no reason for me to be awake. But I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was like, all right, maybe God is like trying to talk to me today or just wants me to like do something. And so I got up around eight. So I laid in bed for two hours and like I wasn't even on my phone. Like I was just awake. Um, looking at King because he's so handsome um, but I woke up and um, when I finally got out of the bed um, I started like reading um, this devotional um, it's well it's not a devotional but it's like a book um, and it's called Still and so I started reading this um, I only read one chapter because um, that's just like how I like to read things when I'm like trying to study uh, and then I'm also um, studying esther for like the five thousandth time i love the book of esther so much so something that stuck out to me today in esther when i was reading was just about like judging and evil and how like the evil that we put out into the world even if it's like something that's like slick like you know you don't mean to be mean or nasty or whatever but it's like when you put that out there it always comes back to you and it just um kind of like convicted me and made me think about like you know i'm further along in my pregnancy now and so um like you know my attitude has been like on five thousand. like i'll be honest i have like the world's biggest attitude and you know i just think about like the energy that i'm putting out there and you know i'm i get upset or i get worked up about something and it's like girl you were just continuing the cycle right like the more i expend my energy being upset about something or fussing about something or whatever like the more that's going to just come back to me or the more that i'm going to see it even if it's not like a real thing or it's not like what's really happening it's just like my mind you know is i don't know i don't know how to explain it but you know how like you just have those days where you're like man i just really am not in the mood and then everything just starts happening which just worsens the mood and i just realized reading that um reading chapter seven of esther like when we put that energy out there of like oh today sucks and you know whatever whatever like we're only giving that back to ourselves right like by having that kind of energy we're only allowing room for the enemy um and maybe not even the enemy but just for us to look at life situations in a way that isn't positive isn't uplifting isn't of god and i don't know it just was really like a perspective shift um and you know hormones i can't promise that i'm gonna be like all of a sudden nice or whatever but i am going to be a little bit more intentional about just like guarding my thoughts and guarding like my response to things because some stuff is just unnecessary right like it's unnecessary so yeah this is a this is not actually a new journal but um when i'm actually like sitting down to study i practice the where's that oh here it is i practice the soap method actually it's easier to see here so basically you just put the scripture then you put an observation so basically whatever you learn while you're reading you just kind of put like little notes and observations and then application so like how you would apply the scripture to your life um and what you observe to your life and then just a prayer and so that's how i have been doing my bible studies i have a lot of energy though right now and so i think i'm gonna record some content until king wakes up so let's go do that Okay, so um, I am creating content and right now, um, as of recording this, nobody knows that I'm pregnant. So um, I'm having to record social media content <laughs> and hide the mop. So I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt and obviously you can see it to the side, like you can see something's going on, but I feel like from the front, you can't. So I'm going to just make sure there's like some bunching and then I'm going to record content and see how it goes. But it, I just find it so funny right now that like it's a secret and just like trying to create content and like run my business and do things without people knowing that I'm pregnant. It just, I don't know, it's like this really fun inside joke um, that I just like can't wait to let people in on. But like I'm probably going to literally wait forever before I say something or maybe I'll just like pop up with a baby I don't know yet I'm still like working out my feelings but anyway this is gonna be look number one because I have I have three different shirts um because I'm gonna try to bulk create a bunch of stuff and then like 
I'm, I'm gonna try to record everything in one sitting. Um, I don't actually know how much I have to record though, so whatever, but that's what's happening. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to change looks because there's a reel that I want to do that I think I need to show a little bit more of my body and this shirt's not going to cut it. So I recorded one reel, let me switch shirts, and then I'll try the next one. Guess who's up? This is a first, well not a first, but <laughs> King don't wake up this early, so... able to get two reels done um which is a lot i guess because i never am able to like well create any kind of content lately so i got two reels done we're gonna get him ready for his day um and i don't know what's gonna happen i kind of flow every day and figure out what's gonna go on as we go about it so uh oh almost fell all right ready to get dressed and brush your teeth and wash your face hmm? are you still sleepy too much sun? Okay, let's get out this one. So, today I have to go to work, and that means that I have to take a shower with King. So I'm setting him up <laughs> in his little chair. Yeah, yeah. and then I have to take a shower. Yeah. Go ahead and sit down. Alright, Mama, take a shower. Okay, so I mentioned a little bit ago that I am currently 19 weeks. I'm 19 weeks in three days, 19 weeks and four days, three days, 19 weeks and three days. And so I feel like this pregnancy is like a little bit easier um, just because I feel like I know what to expect. Um, and I'm not, like, I'm just, I'm just really um, embracing this pregnancy. I think a lot more than I did with King. King, I just really struggled because I wasn't feeling well. This time, even though I wasn't feeling well, I just like, this sounds so crazy, but I like chose to decide that i was feeling fine so even when i wasn't feeling the best um during the first trimester i still was like you know what like this is doable like and and i guess because i experienced it with king and i knew that like Dad! eventually this is gonna end like i'm not gonna stay pregnant forever prayerfully but really i just want to show you guys my month like it's not even that deep um i'm i'm 19 weeks and some change so let's show that so you guys can see how big i look i will say that like this pregnancy i feel like my body um which i weigh a lot less than i did with King, this pregnancy, um, I'm only 177 right now. My last pregnancy, I was probably, at, at the halfway mark, I was probably about 185, almost 190. When I delivered, I was about 207. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely smaller this pregnancy, which is very interesting, but I think it's also because I'm running after a toddler. Um, I'm still kind of breastfeeding, kind of not. Um, and so they, the doctor said because of those things like i'll probably not weigh as much which is i guess good because last time i had um the high blood pressure and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of better that um at least i don't have the the weight gain to you know make the medical problems i guess worse so yeah out of breath already um but king is heavy so you know to my uh credit you know So I feel like I'm not as round this time. Um, like I feel like the bottom of my stomach isn't like the cute little round bump that I had with King, um, which I'm just assuming is because like, obviously, you know, second baby, my body is already stretched and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, maybe, you know, that's just like a normal thing. So um, yeah, my stomach is not as round as it was with the first um, with King. And then also um, I have way more stretch marks, but T granted i'm almost 30 i keep saying this it's so crazy but like i'm almost 30 like it's not that big of a deal to have stretch marks i'm married already like you know i just i can't care about certain things anymore and stretch marks is just one of them that i'm like yeah i'm just not gonna put like a lot of energy into whether or not i have stretch marks um but i will say that like i have more stretch marks this time and i'm just hoping that um the itching isn't as bad as it was with king because with King, I itched so bad. It was, it was just, it like drove me crazy. Like I would wake up out of my sleep scratching and it just was like the craziest feeling. So I'm hoping that more stretch marks doesn't mean more itching, like, you know, double itching or whatever. But I mean, if it does, you know, 
I guess I'll figure out how I'll do it <laughs> then. But um, but yeah, so that's where I am. 20 weeks. All right, we need to eat breakfast. So Hi. ready to eat, boo boo? Ready to eat? Wanna eat? Come on, let's go eat. What can I get you? Ganso juice. Ganso juice. Want me to open it? You got it? There you go. Good work. So, King's favorite breakfast is these hash browns and then sausage with syrup. So, we be sitting down just rubbing for breakfast. Good. That sounds fun, Mamie. Good for you. All right, so it is 10 15 and usually at this time i do several different things so i use voxer to check in with my clients i check in with my social media clients i usually try to do this while he's eating breakfast but today i didn't eat before him so it's a little bit different hey you don't want the hash browns today what happened no hash browns or do you want some juice where's the juice at a little juice what can i get you um, that's Dada's iPad. Go, you want to get your iPad over there? This one's Dada's. Look, this one's Dada's. This is this doesn't have your shows on it. See, that one's Dada's. That one over there has your show on it. You want to go get yours? Let's see if he gets it or if he goes to get his dad's. Yep, he's gonna go get his dad's. Hey, do you want a uh, hash brown? Do you want hash brown? Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Redirecting, very simple. Hard to do sometimes, very simple. Um, so anyway, like I said, it's 10 15. Um, and so I do several things at 10 o'clock. I usually have an alarm that goes off. What is this thing? It's been on me all day. Um, I usually have an alarm goes off, but now like I'm so good at and used to doing the 10 o'clock thing. Usually this is when we're just waking up too, so I usually do this actually in bed, but since I'm up, you know, whatever. But I go through and listen to all my boxer messages that I um didn't let, listen to last night. So I usually stop using Voxer around seven o'clock for my clients. And so I have a couple of, I have a social media client to respond to. And then I have, um, and then I check in with my like coaching clients. So um, I do all that at 10 o'clock. That way I know that it's done for the day and I don't have to worry about it. So it usually takes me about not even 10 minutes to do this, honestly. Thank you, sweet boy. Hmm, delicious. So after I like check in with everyone, then I just go check my inbox to see like what I need to do today and what um, my team has sent me, which nobody has sent me anything from the team. So that's great. Um, oh yeah, I remember I need to do that. Oh, I need to do my blog post stuff. Okay, cool. So today is, um, today is Tuesday. And so that means that a podcast went out today. So I actually need to, um, so because a podcast went out today, I actually need to um, send... What do I need to do? I just like completely forgot. Um, oh, I need to pin the blog post to my Pinterest. It's just, it's just one step, so it's not like super um, intensive. Um, but then also I share my episodes on my Instagram stories. I try to, sometimes I don't, but I'm trying to do better at like sharing them to my Instagram stories. So I need to do that. And then um, obviously I'm coming back to YouTube, so I need to map out YouTube ideas. And then, um, I have this other thing. Let me show you guys this. So I use Asana for like project management and also just like keep me on track with things. And so I actually use Asana as like, like a running to-do list of all the things that I want to get done. And like I put like due dates and deadlines and stuff for it. So um, this works really good. Like this is like really cool for me because it just helps me stay on track and not have to like keep everything in my mind. Um, I don't put everything here because I actually have like other boards that I use where I have like more detailed stuff that I need to do. Um, but that list that you guys were just looking at, that's under my task. So that list, King, you and this pushing. Um, but that list that you guys were just doing at, this is like when I'm thinking of something. So that list is like for when I'm just thinking of something and I need somewhere to jot it down, but I just write it down there. So today I'm going to, some planning I need to work on. I need to plan out, um, the reels and how I'm going to get that done. It looks like I'm going to have to like wake up early. Um, which maybe that's what God was trying to teach me this morning when I woke up early. Like, get
get up when I tell you to and you can record content like you want. Um, so that's a thing. And then um, just like some other planning because like um, I've decided to like change the structure of one of my programs. So um, my signature program, the Becoming CEO of Society, um, I'm changing that into a lifetime um, a coaching program. So because I've changed it to a lifetime coaching experience, coaching program, um, are we done? Are we done today? Is that what you're saying? All right, y'all got to be done today. So say bye. Say bye. bye.